Hello Aces, welcome back to module 6, lesson 6.1, your thousand loyal fans. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about how you can create your thousand loyal fans in order for you to build a seven figure business. Now, before we get there, I need you to take out the two worksheets that you've been working on previously. That's your master customer avatar and your winning matrix. Take out both of these worksheets so then that way you guys can go along because these are the items that are super crucial in order for you to plan out your loyal fan base journey. Okay. If you haven't done so, pause this video, go back to module two, lesson three to take out and actually do your master avatar uh, sheet and also your winning matrix in order for you to proceed in this lesson. Those are needed for you to draft this loyal fan base. Now, if you already have it, what is the 1K loyal fan journey? This is a journey crafted by you for every stage of interaction that you have with your customers. And this journey is almost never linear, okay? More like a multi-channel journey going back and forth until they reach the final checkpoint, which is coming to your restaurant and leaving. And that's what I mean by that. To give you an example, Friend talks about this new, brand new restaurant in town. You see the restaurant two days later on your friend's Instagram or it is a foodie's Instagram. Then on Saturday, you were talking to a friend and you guys were asking for a night out and you come up with a suggestion of the same restaurant. And then you're like, hmm, I heard about this restaurant. I heard great things about it. Let's check online to see what their review is and whether it's worthwhile going. And then you and your friend finally goes to this restaurant because it just sold you. Now, keep in mind, as you're doing this, there are multiple touch points that someone goes through before they decide to dine in this restaurant. And for us, our goal is to help you craft this whole experience. We're gonna help you craft a loyal fan journey, okay? But you might be asking, why a thousand fans, Wilson? Like, I don't get it. Why is it called the 1K loyal fan journey? On average, you only need a thousand customers who are spending $20 with you every single week in order for you to have a million dollar business. And that's the benchmark that we wanna be able to hit in order for us to be called. So be somewhat called a successful restaurant is to hit that mark. But of course, if you don't have that thousand, if you have 500, that is equally a successful business. So I'm just creating this as a milestone for us to hit. Majority of the people that I talk to have this vision in mind. And that's the reason why I crafted this whole journey specifically for the thousand loyal fans. Now, you may be asking, okay, I understand there's this whole journey thing, but why is it important? Why do I even need to spend the time to craft it out? It allows us to see the unforeseen gaps and the flaws within how our customers see our business. So for example, if you don't go through this whole journey yourself, you might never imagine that someone is leaving you a review on Google my uh, Google Maps and you might never be taking care of or replying to the online reviews, neglecting them. And when other people search for it, it seems like that this, cost, this business doesn't care. When in reality, you just never thought people would be looking for you there or that people are leaving your reviews on these sites. And that's the reason why the more you can craft this journey, the better the experience and the more that you can control. It also allows us to know where to prioritize and optimize our marketing efforts. If 90% of the customers <clears throat> are coming through referrals rather than walk-ins, then we should really focus on what are the perks to give our customers a incentive to refer their friends. So then that way they can refer even more friends to really double down on the strengths. And it also allows us to intentionally craft the experience for our customers. So to ensure that every single touch point and interaction that the customers have with our restaurants are up here, setting the expectation real high for yourself. So then that way they have a pleasant experience and to become a loyal fan. Let's begin by breaking down the 1K loyal fan journey. We need to identify each of the touch points and I'm gonna be doing this with you today, okay? So we're breaking that, this down into two phases. The first phase we're talking about very generalized and this is the, which is what we're doing this lesson. Number one is to discover our customer journey stages, identify all the different stages. And then second step is to define the goal 
that our customers are wanting to achieve at each of these stages. And that's what we're going to be covering today. Next lesson, we're going to finish off by zooming in, by defining the touch points for each of the stage, and then identifying the problems and solutions for the 1K journey, and then to evolve your 1K loyal fan journey. And lastly, the transformation that we're talking about. And that's for next lesson. And I'll go much more in depth into each of these lessons moving forward. Okay. Now for this lesson, phase one, zooming out, discover your customer journey stages. <clears throat> Divide your customer journey into stages allows you to analyze the interaction and specific pain points better. And what I mean by that is without you breaking down the stages, you would not know how to improve. You would not know what your customers are looking for in particular to each of these stages. Now, as an example, a customer's journey for a restaurant can be divided into the following steps. Becoming aware of your restaurant through friends and family. After that, they might be doing research. Where are they doing the research? Are they doing research on Instagram, your website, review sites, or foodies websites? They now have decided to come at your restaurant. They arrive at your restaurant. Can they see your restaurant properly? Can they find your restaurant? Is there parking? How are they coming to your restaurant? Do they know the address? How do they find the address? Now to the point of ordering food. How are they ordering food? Is it through, is it through customer service? Is it through the phone? Is it through the menu? What is the way of ordering? When they're waiting for their orders, how do they feel? How are they interacting with the ambience of your store? How are they being entertained throughout the 15 minute of wait time or 20 minute of wait time or 30 minute of wait time? When they're having the food, what is that experience like? When they leave the restaurant, how is their experience leaving the restaurant? And lastly, dropping the feedback and then returning for more. Now, after we have identified these stages, and once again, when we're discovering these stages, your restaurant could have more stages or less stages. It really depends on the concept that you're running. It's not a limitation to these, but I'm just giving to you as an example. Next up, we need to define the goal for each of these stages. This will help us understand on how we can align our business goals with our customers goals. Okay. So when they become aware of our restaurant, what is our customer thinking? What is their goal when they are aware of our restaurant? The goal is for them to know more about new restaurants, to bring their dates, to bring their family. Next up, the research phase. Why are they doing the research? What is the goal? The goal is to make sure they find out what other people are saying about your restaurant to make sure that your place is worthwhile for them to go to. Next up, when they arrive, what do they, what is their goal? The goal is to quickly get into the restaurant and to quickly find a parking space. That's what they want to do. When they're ordering, they want to discover the menu. They will either want to try out completely new cuisines or they want to go back to their, to their safe, safe zone. They're going to order the chicken breast or the chicken stuff that they are familiar with, right? So it depends on the person. Each person or each customer has different goals when it comes to ordering. So we need to be able to cater that experience to them while they're waiting. What are they doing? Are they enjoying the ambience? Are they enjoying the decor? Is there live entertainment? What is it that they're trying to achieve? They do not want to get bored when they're eating. The first thing that they're thinking of is how great the food is. And second, they're thinking whether the food is worthwhile and whether they'll come back again or not. Next up is when they leave. What is their goal? They want to pay by tap and quickly get out of there, find their car quickly and just go home. Next up, what is the feedback? Hmm, I want to share this experience with my friends and family, whether it's a good experience or a bad experience. Identifying these goals would allow us to craft the proper experience in the next lesson. So what have you learned today, guys? Today, we have just shared with you how to connect with your thousand loyal fan. And that's part one only. In the next lesson, we're going to be talking about part two, zooming in to crafting that experience. So make sure you guys head over to the next lesson. I'll see you guys there.